Well, will you stay long? Myself, I like culture. Craft something for... It makes no sense to fight it.
much? They won't listen. They'll just crack your skull. Unbeatable bargains. Preferential financing from the Chanfanellis on every armor purchase.
yourself, but your wife. Been on the road so long, don't know how to answer that. Let's just say I'm from the north. Ah, is it true what they say about the war, death, destruction all about? Exaggerated. Not by much, though. Oh, forgive my asking about thy family in Edom, see? So I'm curious. But please, do tell me what I can do for you. Mentioned you have a family in Edern. Where about, if you don't mind my asking? In Vengeberg. You've been there, perhaps? <laughs> yeah, number of times. It's the hometown of my... ...of someone very dear to me. <clears throat> At any rate, pretty town, Vengeberg. Also didn't suffer too much during the invasion, from what I know. Oh, that is a relief to hear. A weight off my shoulders, I tell you. Show me what you're selling. For a quick match, maybe? Drink food. What's they know?
The rumor's true. in ruins somewhere in the woods. Just make you go grey. You do not trample any herbs. Let me see what you got. Schmerbs, but how about some Gwent, eh? Do not trample any Be careful, you do not trample any herbs.
I'm Lazar Lafarg. Geralt of Rivia. Seem pretty enthused. Got a job for me? Brother! Mind you, it's no monster hunt, but I'm sure you'll be interested all the same. I'm an armorer, see, and I for years sought diagrams for Witcher armor of exceptional quality. Grandmaster level. Heard of them. Never seen any, though. Thought they were lost. Not quite. For I've been lucky enough to learn that their holders came to Tucson. Alas, they then perished, but I know where. I just need a partner to help me retrieve them. If you know where to look, why not get them yourself? No offense, but do I look like a rough-hewn adventurer? Besides, who would serve my clients while I romped about seeking them? No. I'd rather leave it to someone familiar with such matters. Bring me the diagrams, and from them I'll forge for you whatever you fancy. What do you have on offer? Tusa was once home to Tien Sai, a legendary and now deceased elfin master armorer. Witches from all corners of the world came to him to forge their plate, their mail. Heard about him. Supposed to have been the best. And thus he charged the king's ransom for his work. Witches would take difficult, dangerous work to earn the coin to pay him. Some, uh, alas, met with misfortune, and the diagrams they carried were left to rot with their earthly remains. Got it. Find them, find the diagrams. But how can I know where to look for their remains? As it happens, I learned my trade at Jensai's side. So I heard the stories of the missing witches first hand. What he told me... Well, that is what discouraged me from seeking the diagrams out myself. We must strike a deal. I shall tell you all I know. In return, once you found the diagrams, you will let me draft a copy. This elven master, how'd he end up taking a human for an apprentice? My father forged armor. As a youngster, I helped him, then began forging my own pieces. Master Tien Sai saw my work and offered to take me on as his apprentice. Only now, years on, do I realize the honor that was. Alas, my master perished in a massacre later, slain by racists. Though he taught me everything he knew, I did not manage to complete the guild's requirements for Grand Master while he lived. I know I have no equal in the trade. Yet, until I complete Witcher armor of Grand Master quality, I shall never be certain I've become my teacher's equal. Where do I look for these diagrams? I know of five likely fallen witches, each from a different school, of the wolf, griffin, cat, bear, and manticore. Which should I start with? 
Tell me about my brother, the wolf. His name was Atom. I remember him well. My master liked him, helped him find a safe yet well-paid contract. A few years ago, an archaeological expedition arrived in Tucson from Castel Gropia. They questioned my master about the elfin ruins at Termas. He warned them of the danger there and recommended they take Aton as an escort. What kind of danger did he mean? Any idea? Legend claims wraiths haunt the chambers beneath Termas. I cannot say if there is any truth to this, but both the scholars and the Witcher disappeared without a trace. The Griffin. What can you tell me about him? He came some 200 years ago, but my master remembered him well. This Witcher was not stripped of emotions, you see, as his colleagues were. He had taken on a contract at Fort Usa and required better gear. He showed my master his diagrams, paid a deposit, and was never seen again. Apparently, he rode off one night from the fort, never to return. Any idea where he went? No. It said he left in a rush, so he may have left something behind. Only ruins remain of Fort Usa, but you may wish to search them. Let's talk about the cat. A year ago, Bartolome Delaunay, the ducal armorer, asked me to confirm the authenticity of a Witcher diagram he had received by messenger. You see, at the time he was working on new armor for the Ducal Guard. A Witcher from the School of the Cat offered to sell him diagrams for a full set of gear. The diagrams would have been helpful indeed. The diagram you saw, was it really a Witcher diagram? Beyond any doubt. It's a shame Delaunay didn't let me draft a copy. He was quite shaken up, afraid the Witcher might simply kill him and take his coin. Possibly a well-founded fear. Soon after, Delaunay disappeared without a trace. I would have searched his former home for clues, but it has fallen into disrepair, and it is simply too dangerous there. Tell me more about the bear, can you? He appeared shortly after Master Tien Sail took me on as his apprentice. I remember the bear head medallion that hung from his neck. I remember a towering witcher who haggled like a fishwife. <laughs> Witchers never have too much coin. True, this one clearly was not wealthy. But he pledged to bring us coin after he completed a contract at the Tufo Vineyard, where a building had just collapsed. Time passed, the bear never showed, and my master sent me to the Tufo estate. As it turned out, the Witcher had indeed accepted a job. Yet that was all they heard of him, and that is all I know. School of the Manticore. Probably know the least about it, though once, long ago, wore some armor forged there. My master said the Manticores have their fortress in the Far East. A century passed, one of their number came to him, a witcher named Merton. He made a poor impression on my master. He stank like a dwarf and still, and uh, quarreled fiercely all the time. Tien Sahil slammed the door in his face and told him to return when he sobered up. He would conduct no business with a drunk. The Witcher, however, failed to return. Folk say he got into a booze-fueled brawl with the Ducal Guard. He was arrested and sentenced. Bastoy Prison, where he was held, well, it's been a ruin for years. Still, you may want to start your search there. Farewell.
Good luck on the path. To get at the root of these murders, every rest of our fair town is hereby required to aid the treasury any way he requests. Open house at the Beauclair chapter of the Transnational Flagellants Club. All are invited. Ah, What's taste new, of the mon ami? Perhaps you'll stay longer. <laughs> Ooh. What? Hello. Fair the up. What? Well, hey there. Uh, Hello. Sugar cookie. <laughs> Go, go. Bandages. What's that about? The dressings. Bandages. Where did I put them? Forget it. Bandages won't do him any good. What? Oh, but he breathed still a moment ago. Mm-hmm. Breathed his last then. Bled to death. Legs broken. Femoral arteries ruptured. Wound like that, you're dead in minutes. Gods. What happened here, exactly? I... I was rolling through, fully loaded, when I heard screams. This one crawled towards the road, then drooped to the ground, lost consciousness. I jumped down to help him, dress his wounds. Then you appeared. Pretty admirable stopping to help a stranger. Truthfully? When I saw him, I considered it might be an ambush. The thought entered my mind, I near decided to crack the whip. But to abandon a man in need? It's simply not the decent thing to do. Decent enough in many other places, believe me. Before you go on, clean your hands thoroughly and burn your shirt. Might also want to rub some time on your body to be sure. The smell of blood might attract ghouls otherwise. Who? Who might you be, precisely? A witcher. Oh. Uh, 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 do, do, do you expect some beast might have killed him? See what we have here. Legs broken, 
Bad cause of death's the wound. Small but deep, edges unfrayed. Either a thrust weapon or a thick claw. Maybe a wyvern's. Tough to say, and... Mmm. Breastplate's unusual. Dented. And it's got a patina. An antiquity, I believe. I deal in these things, so... Uh, what's puzzling is... Why did he don it? Not likely to learn that from him. Now to figure out where he came from. From that house, I'm assuming, but need to investigate. Got some work to do. So... So long. Wait! I will come with you! Hmm, so be it. But stay close, keep it down, and don't touch a thing. Trail leads to the house on the hill, which stands silent as a grave. Must have been here he broke his legs. Fell while climbing over the wall. Trying to leave the property, probably, after he didn't manage to open the gate. Gate's locked from the inside. Really been jostled, though. Something tried to get out. Oh, the very thought sets a cold wind down my back. Damn it. Servant. Oh, stabbed to death. Over a dozen blows with a sharp object. Some post-mortem. Torso punctured with great force. Blow pierced hardened steel. Man on the high road. Breastplate was identical. Throats massacred. One mighty blow. Shield along sides old and dented. Sword ceremonial, and Shea handiwork clearly. Ceremonial bowls, for little sacrifices? Of what? Please, do not say humans. Ceremonial bowls, for little sacrifices? Of what? Please, do not say humans. So few non-humans in Tucson. Fled, then dropped to the ground to douse the flames. Didn't manage. Burnt smells growing fainter. Might have been another luckier soul managed to flee. Doublet scorched. Wrinkled out of it, tossed it, then ran on. Perhaps there's no one inside after... I know you're in there. Breathing's loud and clear. <clears throat> Open up. We mean you no harm. They... They remain there? Listen, I'm a witcher. I'm here to help you. But if that's gonna happen, you gotta answer some questions first. You mentioned them. 
Who do you mean? Those... I, I don't know what they were. Spirits... It all occurred to a sudden. We were staging a scene. The death of paying homage. There was a flash of light that blinded me completely. I heard cries, though saw nothing. Then felt my own robes were in flames. I broke and ran, threw off my doublet, leapt in here, and it shut and locked the door behind me. They pounded on the door. I, I, I thought they would get through. I, I thought I was done for, but, but in the end, it, uh, it grew calm. Who are you exactly? D Durant Faucher Plamondon de Safaran, Lord of these lands, and Chairman of the Society of Friends of the History of Tuzon. We meet here annually to mark the anniversary of the Elfin Homage. But something like this, why it's a first? Hmm. So while reenacting a scene from the past, somehow, unintentionally, you summoned a specter, a Korgorath, or a tube, maybe. What? What now? Best thing? You gotta do it again, of course. Are you mad? Would you have this thing kill us? No, don't want it to kill anyone. Precisely why I gotta do my job. Summon it again, whatever it is, and tend to it once and for all. Durand, think I can reenact the pledge? The giving of homage, alone? It was a great, momentous event. The surrender of Tucson's last elfin king. You will need at least three individuals. You know what I'm gonna ask for. Need your help. But I'll understand if you turn me down. No objections? Good. Let's get to work. Start by clearing the corpses. Got some time. Won't start the reenactment before nightfall. Things of this sort are a lot more likely to work after dusk. One last thing, though. My pay. Don't work for free, you know. Understood. Just keep the danger at bay. And I shall be generous, through and through. I will stand, or rather, sit in for King Ludovic upon the Elfin throne, while you, Witcher, will play the Enche ruler. We must don the costumes. All must be just right. The Vethef, the Elven King, hosted Ludovic in his own palace upon his own throne, amidst the blinding glow of a plethora of torches. and bread, thus granting humans rule over seat-yielding lands. Don't interrupt. The Betha filled the ornate ceremonial bowls with elven wine. Winnowet, the sweetest blood of the land that had been torn of long last. The Elfin King grasped his sword and shield, thus symbolically passing command of his armies to Hugh.
elfin king, erect in his pride, threw his blade and dropped Lutofik, then spake. I accept your allegiance and shall return in one year's time to... Ah! Look! Look! The statues! Impossible! God's mother! I'm alive. By what witchcraft? Dunno. Specialize in killing monsters. Reviving them, not so much. I... I may know what happened. The statues, you see, once stood in the palace of one Defethov. I acquired them a month past because uh, perhaps I should start at the beginning. This Defethov was to pay tribute to humans, producing statues of this sort each year. Yet, he did so but once, for he perished in the massacre of non-humans at the foot of Mount Gorgon in the year 782. It's fortunate he did too, as Tefethev had planned Lutovic's downfall, for he sculpted not statues, but columns that masqueraded as such. Columns activated with words said in homage. Columns that would have turned the king and his bodyguards into so much colorful confetti. 
Typical. Treachery in Bottit. Elves. Pseh. You're no better. Elves were just defending their territory. You humans took it, but you still weren't sated. Had to cut the elves down every last one. You? What does that mean? You're a man as we are. Yeah, in a way. Just a shame to have to admit it sometimes. Your words? They're wrong, Witcher. But I'll not let you leave empty-handed. Take this. Reward. Farewell. Move it. Come on! Oh. Are you gonna 
make me wait. Scholars pitched camp here. Should look around. They were scholars. Should have guessed the passages inside were blocked for a reason. Good thing they didn't try to go in there without a witcher. of power should draw from it. barrier. Got a bad feeling, damn it. see something.
Satchel looks like it belonged to a Witcher. Adam came to Tusai at Vesemir's request. Interesting. Two bad things ended here for this wolf. Not many of us left alive. The bodies. Seems they were better. Witcher brought the ceiling down to bury his foes. Ended up burying himself too.
Damn, you're ugly. Finally be able to drink in peace. And if I would oh no. Yet another fugitive from the north? Why are you here? Don't know if you noticed, but I just saved your ass. Yes, yes. Though not without a reward in mind, I wager. I know your kind. Of course. And I'll want a share of your beggar's alms, too. Wanted to take a look at your goods first. May I? Hmm. I suppose. But you're to touch nothing, and on purchasing pay in full, in hard currency. Understood? Nordlings, what about them bothers you so much? Apart from the fact that they are all thieves, liars, and layabouts, not a thing. Like you to craft something for me. I'll pay, of course. Show me your way. Gotta go. So that grant would be the end of me. I've lost a game. building. The nation's probably caved in. Literally undermined. Oh, my hand shakes so bad. I can't hold my tools. Whatever 
beast the witcher was hunting. Doesn't seem like he killed it. Gotta keep my eyes peeled. Fever, booger me. I think I'm coming down with a fever. Where are you rushing to? This witcher left any tracks.
corpse of the Witcher from the School of the Bear. Slower. taken this risk. Must have really wanted the armor. I can probably make really good use of these diagrams. Go, go.
Oh. Massacre at the estate of Durand de Savarin! Elvin! Greetings. Managed to find something already. Wonderful. I shall draft a copy. This is good. This at last will earn me the title of Grand Master. I thank you, Witcher. Farewell. Good luck on the... I am Barnabas Basil Fauti. By order of the Duchess, I shall serve you as Major Domo of Corfo Pienco. I previously served with distinction at the Nibli family manor and in Nazaire with Admiral Rompali, who, as you are certain to know, is an extraordinary demanding gentleman. Whoa, Barnabas Basil. One thing you ought to know, I'm not your typical landed gentleman. Truth be told, this is the first real property I've ever owned. Oh, in that case, you must leave it all to me. I shall organize, see to everything, and whip the house into order. I dare say this place will soon be the most prosperous vineyard around. Great. Can already see I'm in good hands. Vineyard comes across as a place with a rich history. Know who owned it before me? Baron Rossell, who went bankrupt, forcing him to sell the estate to the Duchess. The Baron, in turn, had purchased it from Monsieur Bolius of the Headsman, a truly colorful man of Ketweni origin. He was actually a Headsman? No, not him, but his great, 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 great grandfather. Indeed. Apparently, he was a common cut purse who somehow secured for himself the post of Ducal Headsman in Beauclair, went about his work with an exceptional penchant. They say he chopped off more heads than there are grapevines in the ducal vineyards. He never hesitated, not once. Never sliced unevenly, never botched a job. Monsieur Bolius, on the other hand, was an engineer in his younger years. Sadly, misfortune struck and he lost his sense first of smell, then of taste. A dish Shame that. He gave up making wine? Not at all. He made even more of it. Began throwing wild balls. Mind giving me a little tour de Corvo Bianco? Not in the least. Follow me, please. I think it would be practical to begin on the hill.
Behold, sir, your estate in all its splendor. Pretty vast. Indeed. And now, sir, allow me to show you a handful of interesting details. Follow me, please. Been a major domo all your life? Yes, I come from a long line of major domos. My father was a major domo, as was my grandfather before him, as was my great aunt. In fact, she was the one to start the tradition. Great aunt? A hard woman. It is said that already as a child, she knew where she was going and went there. When she arrived in Beauclair, she signed on as a chambermaid at one of the vineyards, then slowly worked her way up to Major Doma. She dragged the rest of the family up the same path. The servants' quarters. I occupy the green home. With the Duchess's permission, I have hired a full staff. Their salaries to be paid from the ducal treasure. Nice of her. Not the most sightly part of the estate, I admit. But I think it's worthwhile for you as master of the domain to know where the help stays. Baron Rossell ordered the vines in this part of the estate uprooted and olive groves planted in their place. They look beautiful. Especially come spring. Don't look at all bad now, either. A man who dare not Down below lies your vineyard, where we grow a strain of Carfaneri, one of the world's Head oldest. The Aged in oak barrels, it provides for an exquisite wine with distinct blackberry, wild cherry, plum, and cinnamon notes. Marcus. Have to try it one of these days. Nice well. Picturesque. Yes, though it ran dry long ago. During the raucous feasts Master Volius held, he would order it filled with wine. There's a tale about a guest attending a ball for the first time and thus unaware of the custom. He had suffered great heartbreak and had decided to end his life by jumping into the well. The festivities were coming to a close and the well was nearly empty when the suicidal guest finally jumped. Instead of killing himself, he merely broke his legs to numb the pain. He drank the wine. Drank himself to death? N not at all. When found the next day, he had concluded he'd witnessed twin miracles. The water had been changed into wine, and he had survived. He retired to a monastery in the Dragon Mountains and began preaching the wisdoms of Leviodin. Why? Why wine? It's enough to drive you betty. Follow me, please. Follow me, please. Monsieur Bolius's wife, Nina, kept a garden here. <gasps> a supremely lovely place it was. Bit neglected now. I agree. Yet nothing stands in the way of restoring it to its former glory, and once again planting it with herbs and other vegetation. Madame Nina planted diminutive, delicate flowers and herbs here. One might say their aroma still hangs in the air. You're quite the romantic, Barnabas Basil. This served as an additional wine cellar in years of plentiful harvests. Hmm. Bit of work and it'll make a fine stable for Roach. A man 
man who dare not down some red is a man whose wife's like to the cellars. Voila. During Monsieur Bolis's time, wine was kept here, but Baron Rossell used it to store olive oil as well. I took the liberty of cleaning up the mess, which I made while fighting the Bruxa. Thanks, Barnabas Basil. Appreciate it. I forgot, you know. She's fit to wed. Oh, so fit. As you can see, the facade is, how to put it, slightly stained. But one cannot deny it a certain subtle southern charm. True, though it could use a bit of subtle paint. I for daughter, you know. She's fit to wed. Oh, so fit. And welcome inside. On the on the right, the dining hall and kitchen. Upstairs, you shall find the guest room, currently used for storage. Not a bad idea. At the moment, the house is only minimally furnished. Yet I believe we will, together, devise some innovative arrangements. A few paintings, for instance, would breathe new life into the abode immediately. With that, sir, you've seen the full lay of the land. Corfo Bianco is a beautiful estate. Though one must admit, time has taken its toll. If... Forgive me for being forward, but if you were to choose to invest a small sum towards its beautification, consider me at your service on the matter. Think I'll take you up on that. Be sure to come and see you if I decide to do any remodeling. Mentioned the place could stand to be spruced up. Almost decidedly, sir. The question is where you would like to begin this rejuvenation. Been thinking about the outer walls. Maybe a fresh coat of paint or some patching. If I might dare to make a suggestion, why not start with a general renovation? I once oversaw such work at Admiral Rompelli's summer residence. The effects were simply breathtaking. Not only did the residence positively sparkle afterwards, but we also made room to display the Admiral's arm. It's in your hands then. Make the place shine. I shall get to work immediately. Within a day's passing, I shall have sent for the crew which rebuffed the Admiral's residence. They are the finest specialists around. Highly skilled at what they do, it shall not take them too long, I wager. Two days after they begin, your eyes will behold your residence in its refurbished, rejuvenated. Is there anything, anything else you require, sir? Got these spacious grounds, mm, but maybe it's time to make them more uh, useful. Oh yes, we certainly should. The way I see things, given your trade, sir, you would be wise to put in a grindstone. My armor needs work from time to time. You know, oil this, reinforce that. Could use a decent work table. Admiral Rompali once hired a specialist who made the f Good. Order me up a tape. Immediately, sir. I expect it. Will you be needing anything else? In my trade, my blades get dull pretty quick. Could use a grind. Of course. No one would consider. Then send out for one, please. A high quality stone to be set up in the yard. Oh. Will you be needing. Starting to get... I agree. Starting to really like... I agree. Yet I would urge you to hold off on further construction until the on... Thanks. Gotta get back to my business now. See you soon.
creature from the Duchess of Hardened Killer. Do you know any He's not of her of a a king? I've this strange inkling that's a load of hooey. But do you know any who's not heard of our wines? Here is the hero the we can afford. Of creeps is which are both in the unbelievers' eyes. Duchess Hall, but do you know any who's not heard of her? Barnabas Basil? Superbly, sir. General refurbishment has been completed. And I took the liberty of adding two racks, each upon which you might hang weapons and armor, if you've some pieces you'd like to display. Likewise, I have prepared a few spots in which new paintings might be hung. In Arthur News, the laborers dusting out the cellar have made a most unusual discovery. I believe it's something you'll... If you say I should see it, I'll go see it right... This wall, I think. The laboratory. Must have been an alchemist at one time.
cellar? One of the previous owners take an interest in alchemy? A laboratory? Alchemy? I know nothing of it. It is. It was walled up. The equipment's pretty ancient, too, so it must have belonged to someone who lived at Corvo Bianco before you started work. Whoever it was sure knew their stuff, though. Got dragon glass vials and flasks, stills, sublimators, vengerometers. Forgive me, sir, but I... Just saying, it's top-notch equipment. True masterpieces of craftsmanship for use in alchemy. Brewing a concoction with this stuff versus doing it over an open fire? Well, there's... Then I am all the more delighted. Ever play Gwent, BB? Funny you should ask, sir. I was quite adept in my younger years, but that was so long ago. Huh. Sounds interesting. Not at all, sir, but only... May the best man... Do you wish to play against any particular faction, sir? Not really. You choose. Shall we continue playing? Maybe later. As you wish, sir. Starting to really like this place. Maybe we should keep going, refurbish some more. What do you think, BB? As you wish, sir. Shall we see to the house or the grounds this time? Starting to get into this whole renovating thing. There must be other things we can improve. What a splendidly wise idea. Now that the general refurbishment is done, why not see to the grounds? Perhaps renovate the stables? Or return Madame Bolius's garden to its former verdancy? You know, Roach, my horse? Well, we've been through a lot together. And since I've finally got a decent place to stay, I think she deserves one too. Oh, a sturdy stable testifies to a most honorable owner. Just say the word, and I'll have them start working on it at once. My roach deserves the best. Have them refurbish the stables. I shall get to work at once. Yet finding workmen and completing construction takes time. Though likely no... Will you be needing anything? So, sometimes I have to brew... Well, you're in luck, sir. The flower garden, once kept by Madame Nina, Monsieur Bolius's wife. Good idea, Barnabas Basil. 
Herbs there will save me hours of painstaking searching and harvesting. The idea is yours, sir. I am but the humble executor of your will. I believe we shall have... Will you be needing anything else? Feels like by... Indeed, momentum is best maintained once established. Now that we've finished the general renovations, you might begin to consider such things. Thinking about buying a comfortable bed. Always wanted one. Excellent idea. In your profession, rest is supremely important. But say the word, and... Great. Order me a fine bed, please. Think I deserve one at my age. True indeed, true indeed. I shall send a runner at once. The bet will be in pl Is there anything... Could use another weapon rack. Got some interesting pieces I'd like to display. I know of a carpentry shop in town which crafts the humblest lump... Fine. Order the racks. Of course, at once. At... Is there anything... Along the path, I've often picked up well-crafted, beautifully ornamented armor. I agree. It would lend the place a certain... Yes. Just please make sure they're solidly made, and nicely finished. It goes without saying, sir. There is not... By this time tomorrow, they shall... Is there anything... Was wondering about the guest room. Oh, but that is immaterial. All self-respecting homes should boast a comfortable guest room. What? Yeah. The sooner we start on that, the better. I can tell a man of action immediately. I'll see to it my... Is there anything... Know what? Changed my mind. Not in the mood to talk about... I shall be glad to answer your F request. Starting to... With the... Uh... Vineyard Baron? He was a... No, not enough, Monsieur. Sadly. Shame that. Not at all. Thanks. A man who dare not down some wretch is a man whose wife's like to thump his head. Do you get for all that work? A night's head. Ah, now you can't touch. They just take to work as they take to dance and drink. Scrap 
renovation. Delighted to inform you we have completed our labors. You can now devote yourself to enjoying the vineyard's delights to the fullest. You must forgive me my temerity, sir, but I thought with all the work on Corfo Bianco completed and with the estate looking... Sure, why not? During the tidying that preceded the renovations, I came across a bottle of... And then he ran straight into the crowd, burning bouquet in hand. All thought it a part of the performance, so they only laughed, even when the decor began to catch fire. It was not until the flames engulfed Baron Mahefkin's beard that folk began to realize something was amiss and went to put out the fire. <laughs> Sounds like Monsieur Bolius and Madame Nina threw some first... It was so. In this regard... So tell me, Barnabas Basil, what's the wine situation like here? This year is out, I fear, sir. Last autumn, a fungus destroyed all the vines. Baron Rossell had new ones. Mm, that'd be bad. This sepramento got me dreaming. Isn't it, though? Allow me to... Thanks. Run, Roach.
Carcass spores will sprout again. Should destroy the area if I want to get rid of them for good. Ring! Gwent, maybe we could play around.
pledge my love to win the tourney with your name on Did my Did you catch uh, the sweet shining the sun proves victorious? Many of Be so kind as to sh A round of Gwent. A fruitful hunt to you, Witcher. Ah, a professional. I like to trade. What have you got there?
Care for a quick round of... And great. Let's see what you. I know you're busy, but you up for a round of Gwent?
No, you're busy. No, you're busy, but... 